the Nice Guys is the newest film directed by Shane Black, which stars Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. If you've seen Shane Black's his directorial film, filmography, you can tell how you know his themes are with these buddy cop films from Kiss Kiss Bang Bang to Iron Man 3, which I thought Iron Man 3 might have not been the best MCU film, but it was a darn good Shane Black film. So now he's back, he's I'm taking another you know, chapter of this body cop duel and see what he could bring us. And in this movie, you know, Russell Crowe is like this like enforcer. Ryan Gosling is like this detective. Once they have this cross path with their jobs, this is how, you know, the films like ensues now. Seeing how we got, we get to see these two work together and team up and, you know, it's like yin yang, like the contrast for one another, but they still kind of look the same. And overall, guys, I, I love this movie. This movie was so enjoyable. I had a blast watching it. It was a darn good film. What makes you also feel so fun watching the film is these two roles played by Gosling and Crow, like I said. They're so fun. They look like they're having fun, a good time in this movie. And, you know, you just love seeing their dynamic, how it's, you know, developing as we go on. You, know, you would never suspect these two teaming up, but it works so well. Gosling, Crow, these two actors, you never would think to see them in this type of role. Like, they have been in maybe, like, especially Gosling, some comedies, romantic comedies. Crow, he's always been this more, you know, dramatic actor, and it's just great seeing him work off in this. Shane Black knows how to direct Buddy Cop films. He directed these so well. The script is just amazing. The, it is sold out as a comedy, but it's not like laughed out funny and it doesn't need to be because you don't need it like that. It was it came out with Neighbors and it's competing with Neighbors and it's definitely not like Neighbors, no disrespect to Neighbors. This is really more of like the face of it was like a comedy, but there's more to it with layers and just a story. But the jokes were still so good. It was intelligent. It's like, you know, like you had a kind of thing for the jokes. So... In that sense, it worked, even though it wasn't laugh out loud funny. It was funny for a comedy because it was still intellectually, you know, smart. And, you know, you had to look for the jokes. If you get what I'm saying? And then there's this little girl, like I said earlier, played, who's supposed to be Gosling's daughter. She could have, you know, sometimes characters are not good. She could have, you know, been an annoyance to the film. She added to it. She was so smart. She was like a young adult. And, you know. She is like a character that, as you see her, you might think, oh, this is not going to work out well, but it works out better than you think. They really capture so well the Los Angeles vibe. You really have the 70s vibe. Just the tone of how it starts with the old Warner Brothers logo. You really get the feels of how it is. The music. It's just kind of also strange how, like, how a little bit of how the story is, how it mirrors to the film, how you think the film is just being presented some way, but it's really more, you know, that meets the eye it's there's more to it it's more like of a it's more of a different story so Shane Black does it again he he's a good director for these films these three films are good for how he presents them and I just had a blast guys it was really a good feeling I had it you know it's it's emotional times it did seem a little bit dark though for this one I was kind of shock sometimes where it would go with the dark tones it has that really amazed me but that added more to it i love how yeah it was just it wasn't just straight funny it had emotional effects it had these comedic elements it had some you know very intense moments as well guys i'm gonna give the nice guys an a is you guys should check this movie out if you want to go to the movies this week there's a lot of movies that came out this week. I think this is the one you should go see first. You guys will have a good time too. You know, it's, it's great seeing a comedy that just challenges you, like the way you think. And, you know, I love that type of aspect. And it's still a good freaking film. I had a blast. Now let me know, guys know if you saw The Nice Guys, what you guys think of it. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, Roman Empire. So, 3,708 subscribers. Always laugh, smile, repeat.